friends always need but just can't seem to get enough of. But despite all the late night cramming and the irregular sleep schedules, a recent study by the UC Berkeley psych department may change our opinions about how important sleep really is. We all know sleep is important for our health, but how much sleep are Berkeley students really getting? I've gone two days without sleep. Sleep like 1 a.m., 2 a.m., and wake up at 7. So like, why would you sleep when you can, you know, use that time to do something? And Actually, all my friends that I've ever known have pulled an all-nighter. Well, I feel just like, um, dead. I have friends who are doing all-nighters, like doing the Red Bulls and coffee, and it's crazy. With all of this lack of sleep, how are Berkeley students able to function in school? Well, researchers from the psychology department found that sleeping more actually increases one's ability to learn more information. Sleep somehow refreshed your ability to learn new information and protected you from having an impaired ability to learn. We were interested in seeing if sleep helped you learn afterwards. The study found evidence that bursts of brain waves called sleep spindles that occur during a stage of sleeping encourage learning and memory retention for the following day. We found there was a specific oscillation in sleep called sleep spindles, and it's a short little burst of activity. Now, the more of those you have in your sleep, the better you were able to learn afterwards. So the brain goes through a beautiful kind of symphony of different stages throughout the night, oscillating back and forth. And it's specific brain oscillations, in our case, the sleep spindle. Specific brain oscillations themselves that now appear to predict the ability to learn or the ability to retain information. So less spindles means your brain isn't as capable of taking in new information. In the study, participants were divided into two groups who were subjected to rigorous memorization. One group was asked to take a nap while the other did not. Afterwards, both groups were retested. The group that took a nap performed significantly better than the group that did not take a nap. You imagine your hard drive filling up, you know, and so what sleep can then do is clear out that hard drive so you can put more stuff in there. The bottom line is, well, the bottom line is make sure you don't shortchange your sleep. The researchers asked me if I was interested in having my brainwaves tracked on the device using the same methods as the participants in the study. Polysomnography means many poly sleep writings. <laughs> many sleep writings and includes EEG, the brain waves, as well as the eye movements and the muscle tone. So we have to record a number of things. So the researchers just hooked me up. I have um, wires attached to my head and around my face and they're attached to this little box and they're going to be able to analyze my brain waves. So I don't know about you guys, but I think I'm ready to take a nap. For Cal TV, I'm Brittany Tom.